This is my first time going live. Ever? Yeah. I've done it like a little bit on social media, but there's no people here yet. So, do you have your, where's your tablet? Oh. It's one person here. Hello. Who is it? It's you. It's you, Mom. Hi. Hey. Hey. It's you. How are you? Hi, guys. Make it's sure you guys are it's commenting. You. <coughs> because I'm going to be looking at myself. Make sure you guys are commenting. Because I'm going to be looking at myself. How do I mute this? All right, so I muted it. I'm going to be looking at the comments. Oh, live chat. Hey, guys. All right, so I can see everything here. Hi, Gigi. Hey, Dion. Volume on the side. I got it, girl. Thank you. Hola. Hey, Kimberly. Hi, guys. Hey, Garrison. They're all saying, hey, Garrison. Come here. Come here. They can't see you. You're too short. What do you say? <laughs> this is my first live ever. Okay, step away from the camera. Step away from the camera. Hi, guys. Hey. Hi, Miss. Hi, Miss. Okay, so since this is live and it's interactive, I want you guys to ask questions. I have my girlfriend, Christy, here. She's going to be looking at it. Um, and I'll be able to answer your questions. Hey, guys. Okay, y'all take that to Daddy. Okay, go take that to daddy. Today is not necessarily about putting together looks. It's more or less tips on how to enhance and expand on your own personal fashion. And I want to share with you guys some things that I have just absolutely been loving this whole fall season and going into the winter. So it's really not about looks per se. If y'all want me to put together some looks real quick, I think I'm wearing something that's kind of dope right now, you know, it's casual, super fun, but it's not necessarily about just always having something in mind when you go and you buy pieces. It's about being able to put it all together. And that's what this is going to be about. Hey, hey, yes, please put some, put together some looks. Hi, hi. Okay, so I'm, I can start with what I'm wearing. You, hey Nancy, how y'all doing? How y'all doing? Thank you so much for tuning in. <laughs> I've never done a live before, so we gon' we gonna get started. I want to start with some of my absolute favorite finds of the season. So if you have a pen and paper, um, you might want to write this stuff down because some of this stuff you can actually still go and buy now. I just can't do the fanny packs again. Oh, it's okay, girl. It's plenty of fanny packs out here. This one's too cute. Hey. How cute is that, right? It's two parts. I actually wore this outfit today. I have my battery pack in here, my lipstick, my ID, my credit cards, and I was hands-free so that I can chase my four-year-old around. Hey, guys. All right, I want to start with outerwear. You guys, if you follow me on Instagram, at the Maria Antoinette, you have seen this sweater. This is a cardigan. All right, Gigi, go be with daddy. Okay. Thank you. So this is a cardigan. This is from Anthropology. It is there right now. You guys, it is amazing. What are they saying? Cute. Cute, right? It has texture to it. I'm not sure if you guys, you see that? It's texture to it. The more you wear it, the less it sheds. I really wear, I've only worn it with all black and I did not have a ton of shedding, okay? This is a kimono but you can, you can literally see the weight in it. It's a knit. And it's everything. I'm so in love with this style right now. So I feel like I need a step stool because I'm so short. Where is it from? This is from Anthropology. okay? I could have easily put it over this and looked real crazy, but not crazy, almost artistic. I'm back. And I need you to go outside with daddy. Bye. Okay, thank you. So, super loose fitting, no class. It's just a free fall cardigan, oversized kimono. You guys, I love it. 
great staple piece in any type of wardrobe. This can be worn dressed down as you see how I'm wearing it now. It can be worn to work. It can be worn with all black. It can be worn with jeans. It can be worn over a dress, a black bodycon, where it takes away the over sexuality of your curves of your body, but it still makes you look sharp as a, what is it, a tack? You know what I'm saying. Any other questions? No? All right. So that's one for outerwear that can also be worn as innerwear. Another thing that I'm really loving is oversized denim jackets. As you can see, the tag is still on this. I have not worn it yet. This is from Forever 21. I love the jeans. Yeah. Thank you. My jeans that I'm wearing right now are from Lucky. And I got them for $17 because I'm, I'm the shop on sale queen. <laughs> um, they're actually too big. Hi, honey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they are actually too big, but that's the look I wanted to go for with these oversized. You probably think I look very like casual, but I threw on a metallic shoe with these guys. You gotta make the style your own. Now back to this denim jacket. It's oversized, I'm petite. So this would easily be a dress on me if I wanted it to. I could wear it with some skinny leg high waist jeans, a tank, um, I could wear it with a sweater. It's just, it's a great staple piece. It will Shut never, quiet, ever go out of style. When I say denim is here for life, you guys have seen that it has not gone anywhere. You might see different rinses. You might see different finishes on it, things like that. Get you a good denim piece. This is from Forever 21. It was $39.90. Okay? Now, fatigue. Another great outerwear. Super. Go ahead. Details on the metallic shoes. Let's just rewind. Them. Okay, so we're going to go back to the metallic shoe. Shoe cam. Y'all ready for shoe cam? All right, we're going to come down. Can y'all see them? All right, they are a flat stack. Some different sites that you guys should be checking out when you're looking for shoes. You don't always have to shop at the same places. Check out places like ASOS. I don't wear ASOS clothes, but I am in love with their shoes. I wore some um, Stan Smiths the other day. They come out with the most unique ones on ASOS for, for cheap because people don't buy them, okay? So these are from ASOS. They are like a rose gold bronze color. They are, uh, is this, would this be classified as an Oxford? Yeah, I think, yeah, so they have a, huh? Yeah, they tie up and they are, they have a platform on them. So they give me a little bit of height and they are, they're a nude shoe. They're a neutral shoe. I won't say nude. They're a neutral shoe for me. I'm brown skin. This is a great neutral. It pulls everything I'm wearing together. It doesn't just make it look like, oh, she's just wearing a sweatshirt and jeans, which there's nothing wrong with that look, right? There's nothing wrong with this look. From here to here, you probably thought I had on tennis shoes, but that's not the case. What y'all saying? Yes. Yes, it would be a platform Oxford, and it's a it's a great accent piece. Yes. I just wanted to say because your at your outfit collectively is just super dope, um, with each selective piece. But the, okay, the so if we took this fanny pack off, threw on a jean that was high waisted with less distress in them, and threw on the same platform shoe, you got a whole nother look. So it's not about necessarily always having something that you're buying and knowing I'm wearing this specifically for this one look. It's about being able to say, I already have some shoes, I, this shirt will be a great compliment, and I already have jeans in my closet. It's about extending your wardrobe. At this point in the game, I'm going to rewind. I can't assume everybody who's watching already has an established wardrobe. And if you guys would like me to help with basics, I definitely can come back and do a video on basics and must-haves, okay? We can go through all of my favorite jean designers, and they're all cheap. Y'all be shocked on how cheap they are. Um, this shirt is currently on sale right now. Not on sale, but still in stock at H&M. Okay? They I love your look. Oh, thank you. This sweater is from Shopaholics. It's a black-owned t-shirt, sweatshirt. She got her own style. I worked with her briefly. I worked with her on Fashion Week. Um, she worked with the stylist that I was working with on Fashion Week. And I just literally fell in love with her style. You're talking about quirky. She dresses so dope, like out of the box. I think that the more that we start to see stuff in stores and we see how they put them together in the stores, the more that we wear stuff like that, we start to evolve into wanting something more for ourselves. It's nothing wrong with starting off with the basics and how people typically put things together before you start stepping outside of the box. This is, nothing I'm wearing is matching, but it all goes together, right? She literally has leopard on her 
on her Shopify over Grace Jones. And then there's a red X over her cigarette. I have on a burgundy, like, suede, faux suede baseball dad hat. And this definitely don't match, but it does because the sweatshirt is cream. So it kind of pulls it together. And then I just really sealed the deal with the bronze shoes. So making it your own. Anymore? Your lip goes great with the hat. That's what I'm saying. Thank you. <laughs> so my lippy, if y'all was concerned. Anybody want to know what my lippy is? It's inside my fanny pack. Because I really wore this today. This is um, Lime Crime. And it's Saddle. I love it. It's so just soft. Lime Crime has. Yes. Okay. It's Lime Crime. And it's Saddle. And at the end of this, I'm going to put down everything I talked about. So I'm going to label the sweater where I got it give you guys links so if you don't write it down or if you have specific questions i'm gonna do my best to try to answer them lime crime and it's called saddle bomb it's an expensive lippy i'm not gonna lie but they have some of the best and most comfortable form uh formulas formulas in their liquid matte lipsticks on the market like i've had this on all day since this morning you can go look at my instagram stories i've had it on all day um okay so back to Outerwear. I think we get caught up in the thought that everything has to be new. And this is something that I was, I fell victim to this. I was guilty of this. I was the girl who was always looking for what was new and what was hot. But the truth of the matter is everything comes back in, in full circulation. You know, I'm basically dressed like my picture yesterday. I look like something my mother-in-law or my mom would have worn to high school. Everything comes full circle. So I personally have been wanting to separate myself from the norm. You know, I stay on top of my lipwear. Yes, honey. So this is a piece. This is an authentic U.S. military jacket. It has the ability to cinch the waist. This was my mother's. Okay, I took her name off of it. Her name was on this side. It literally still has the stitching in it. This was my mother's jacket. These things are made to keep you warm. It has... Um, Velcro on the sleeve so you can cinch that in and give it a tighter effect. When I tell y'all this fits so cute and it's old. How hard would it be for you to go to a military supply place or go to a vintage store and find something like this in the men's section? All of this stuff. If I were going out and it was super cold today, I could have easily thrown this jacket on with this look. Mm -hmm. And it's still super cute. Still super cute. Bonda says she has a jacket like that and she just did, didn't know how to extend the look. So this is how. So look, you, go look at y'all grandparents' stuff. Oh, people don't get rid of nothing. So you just go ahead and pull up the sleeve. Do I look like, like a, a Hoosier or somebody who don't? I look fashionable. I cinch the waist in so it accents me. It doesn't lose me because it's an oversized coat. I'm petite. This allows me to look fly, but I'm warm, I'm fashionable. You can never go wrong with camo, okay? Never, I don't care. You can dress it up. I can have on a, a gown and put this on and still be fly. Y'all be talking about Rihanna, so she's so fly, she's so fly. It's because Rihanna wears and does what she wants to do, and so can you, okay? Now, this piece, oh, I love this. Y'all see that movement. This is a faux fur. You see the texture in it? This is from Zara. They do not have this color this season, but they have a slate. They have a cream. All of these are available at Zara right now. They love that piece. Honey, honey. It closes with eye hooks, and it is everything. I love it with a turtleneck because it has a very clean um, collar on it. It doesn't, have a, it doesn't have a collar. It's just a boat collar, or not even a boat, just a regular collar. I love this jacket. It travels well. It is one of my favorites. Okay? So, there you go. Funky, right? Can't go wrong. See that movement? And it's stupid warm. It's a very warm coat. So, if you live up north, this is a very, very warm coat. You can put your scarf underneath it. You still are fashionable. You still are eluding your own personal style. Yes, and that green is my favorite color, mine too. I love green. Okay, so outerwear. I think we are almost done with outerwear. But you guys, if you have your basics, you have your work coats, you have your basic, you know, wool coats that you wear to work, your pea coats, 
it's okay to add little pieces like this. And each year you keep adding them, but it doesn't mean you let them go. I had this since last season. It ain't going nowhere, okay? This is for my working girls, people who have to go into offices. I used to be in corporate. Hey, thank you. Yes, right? I used to be in corporate and I had to go into work. <clears throat> it's a man's world out there. I get it. But we are still ladies. And I love when I tell you there is nothing that makes me more exciting than wearing a masculine piece with feminine detail. Look at this. Velvet. This is real, like, real velvet. It's a ribbon. It's tied into the eye hook. You can get one of these jackets thrifted and tie your own velvet piece into the eye hook. The only thing that's really unique about this that made it where you want to purchase it is this collar. It is made to sit up like that. You notice it does not fold down. If it folds down, it changes the lapel, but this was made to sit up. With this pop of this cobalt blue, honey, most people will go in and try to pull the orange out, but I would pair it and pull that blue out. You can get you a blue body con under here, put on some tights, get you some nice boots, killing the game. And you're just bringing out the blue and it's such a warm piece, layering it. Girl, you are giving my clothes life. Okay, go to your closet. Yes, start seeing what you have. This is about reinventing what you already have. I find that we often come on YouTube and we showing you, buy this, buy this, buy this. You probably got a closet full of great clothes. You just need to be able to rethink how you can wear them, okay? So, great piece. I took a picture in this. It's also shown on my Instagram. I also pulled out that burnt orange, okay? I did that in a stretch corduroy. I got the stretch corduroy from Anthropology. I got this blazer. This was an investment, but this blazer ain't going nowhere. I got a daughter. She will wear this blazer. It will go nowhere. It's timeless. It is a timeless piece. It was an investment. I'm not saying go get this one, but you can go get a blazer from a, a thrift shop and tie your own thing on it and still pull out different colors inside of the pattern. This is all about inspiration. If you want this exact blazer, it is at J. Crew as well as this blue cardigan, okay? My husband told me today I'm going to turn into a sequin, and I am all right with that because, honey, give me Michael Jackson. <laughs> I don't care. I'm a temptation. I, I am all the above. This blazer, Kim. Okay, so this blazer is available at Anthropology right now. Okay, you will have to order it online. It is not in the stores. Yes, it is gorgeous. Gorgeous. It is a statement piece within itself. I paired it with these red pants and I paired it with a graphic tee. Yes, come on, Michael Jackson. I'm telling y'all, you got to go back and get inspired. Can't, can't do everything everybody doing. We can go back and get inspired and we can bring it back and make it new. So, beautiful blazer. It's a three-fourth quarter sleeve. So it's great for you to still keep out your arm. Very, very sexual or sexy, not sexual, in a very understated way. Sometimes we over accentuate stuff, but you can be just so soft and sexy with the most feminine parts of your body, your wrist, your clavicle. All of those things, this accentuates the wrist. You can even do a bell sleeve with this if you don't want your wrist to show, honey. Get into this. Get into this blazer, okay? Anthropology, you have to get it online. Another thing I can't get enough of this year, velour or velvet. This is actually velvet. Hmm. Oddly shaped, right? You might walk in the store and see this and be like, Oh, I don't know. That looks like a grandma blazer, right? I know, because I kind of looked at it and I thought the same thing until I put it on. Until I put it on and I was like, oh, I can't, I can't leave the store without it. You see how I'm pulling the sweatshirt down with it? I love wearing stuff that's under, it's, it's overstated, right? You would think, oh, you have to dress that up. Does it add pounds to you? Look. No, it doesn't. It depends on how you wear it underneath. So right now I'm wearing a sweatshirt underneath. So yes, this will make me look bulky, which is okay. Because just because I have a shape doesn't mean I always have to show it. But yesterday when I wore it, I wore it with a white tee, a graphic tee, and I wore it like that. So no, it doesn't add pounds. It accentuates the fact that my stomach is, is small. It gave my chest a pop. 
It still covered me so I can go out in public and not look like I'm serving too much. And I wore it with um, these jeans. Y'all went crazy over these on the internet. Is that jacket velvet or velour? This is velvet. This is actually velvet. It's not velour. This dress is velour. This is velvet. Like this was an. Ex this is another one of those where I made a little splurge. But anthropology. You can go online and find it. It's beautiful. I love the color. It's not typical of fall, but it's so perfect. I wore it with these wide leg jeans that are extremely stretchy and they have a raw edge on them. I wore them with a stacked heel. And a white tee tied in the back. And I wore a turban on my head. Took it all the way back to the 70s. Okay? Um, these jeans, I, I had something else in my hands. And when I saw these jeans, I had to put the whatever else I had in my hands to get these jeans. You have to make those hard decisions. And this was not a hard one. I kept, I put everything else back to these. But yes, you can find stuff like this on Amazon. I'm going to link for y'all. I got y'all covered because I have a few in my cart that I'm ready to purchase. You can find jackets like this on Amazon, honey, for like $30, $50. Yes. So you don't have to splurge, and I'm kind of mad I did. But I know better now, and I'm going to go give me a blue one because I think that would be so funky. Um, another huge trend, of course, the whole 70s going back in time is big, but vintage pieces. This is a faux fur, and it's attached to this blazer. This is a sleeveless blazer. It's a long blazer. This is wool, and then this <laughs> is your faux fur. This is from Zara. It's a basic. Picked up at a consignment shop, resale shop, but I love it. Great idea about the debunking that look with the T. Exactly. You take it down a notch. Everything doesn't have to be lace and velvet and high neck. You don't have to wear it the way they wore it when velvet was big, right? You reinvent it for our age and our time period. Faux fur. Huge right now. Where did you get the Grace Jones shirt if you wanted to go back and Oh, this Grace Jones shirt came from Shopify. Um, Shopaholic. Not Shopify. Shopaholic. I also have another one of her shirts. I got the Diana Ross, and her shirts are super dope. It's a casual piece, but because it's such an iconic figure for us on the front, I, you can't go wrong. Like, who trying to wear something that don't look like them? I'm all about this right here. All about it. And I'm about to go ahead and segue into graphic tees. It's winter time. It's time to layer. It's time to go ahead and pop out a little bit of statement. We're in a very political state right now. And there's nothing wrong if you're not on Instagram with everybody else being super woke. But your clothes can speak for you. Your clothes can speak volume for you. Just because I'm not out marching and boycotting. Well, I do boycott. But, you know, I do march. But just because I'm not all on public social media arguing with people and fighting with them, it does not mean that I don't stand with my people for my people. And I let it be known. And I actually have a really effed up story about this sweatshirt. My husband and my son were with me. We went to FedEx. And it was a white guy checking this out. And I had on a match. I have this in a t-shirt as well. This is from Evelyn. Um, Evelyn of the Internet or Evelyn? Evelyn of the, from the Internet. Evelyn from the Internet. Yes. She is the one who created this shirt. The issue is, Evelyn, if you're watching, she does not sell them all the time. So you gotta be following her because she pops them up here and there. But they are excellent quality. I've had these for a year. You know, you wear them a couple of times in the winter. I wear the t-shirts a couple of times in the summer. Yes, great, right? As well as this one. They both say two different things. So if you're not trying to be as controversial, you could wear this, but you still represent for, for the black people, you know what I'm saying? But, um, Back to the story. So this guy was checking us out. Somebody was me. So this guy was checking us out. And he was like, <laughs> reading my shirt. And I was like, what's so funny? And he was like, you know, I just don't understand why, you know, you have to be magical. And I said, well, and he just started laughing. And I was like, well, what, well, what don't you understand? And he was like, I mean, you don't walk around and say we're magical or this, this, and that. I said, well, I wear things like this because they empower me in a society that does not think that I'm worth it. And then they don't think that I'm magical. My husband was probably holding his breath because I got a mouth on me. But I did not let it out. 
and the woman who was working the other counter came and told him to go to lunch and it was all solved but the mere fact was I had to stand my ground and he thought that he would be able to just punk me and be like that's funny ha 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 it's not funny I'm gonna wear this because we need it and we need to be celebrated in a society that does not celebrate us so that was my story I stood my ground we, we shipped our package and it was a done deal but yeah yeah so back to graphic tees they are great for layering they speak volumes to you hello from the uk how are you did anybody else snag this did anybody else snag this yes urban outfitter partnered up with janet jackson yes is it gone it's oh this is old but it's not super old but she it, like she even talked about it on her instagram page she partnered this is like i wish people would understand that if you come from people put down i feel you right hot right you cannot when y'all see these go to urban outfitters i know it's a splurge you like it's a t-shirt but these are remakes of vintage tour t-shirts get them because you won't pay way more on etsy and um what's the other one what's the other thing people be selling stuff on poshmark no poshmark yeah but the one that really got big everybody was selling on there Help me out, y'all. What's the other thing people sell? People be like, go here. It's not Etsy, but it's the other one. I forgot. But let's get back into some more trends that I feel are, are very... Thank you. Um, turtlenecks. That one's not showing up well. Turtlenecks, you can never go Depop. wrong. Depop? Is it Depop? It's, um... Oh, you guys are on my phone. Um, eBay! Oh, eBay. eBay! Yes, you don't want to buy them off of eBay when you can just kind of keep an eye out. They had Tupac. They had all kinds of great. Excuse me, Mom. It was eBay. eBay is a shop. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so, so turtlenecks. <clears throat> Honey, you talking about looking so professional, so sharp. It's everything in one. You don't have to wear a scarf. You still got a nice fit, nice silhouette, but you're extremely warm, and they are so well they like they just complement any shape and size i love pairing them with a wide leg slack you guys are going to be seeing me wear more slacks this year yes i love my denim but i really wanted to get away from wearing so much denim and going into more of a wide leg slack these are a jacquard they are actually navy white and they give a gray effect but they're navy and white i don't know how close i can get but you guys see that texture but they give a gray effect. So that means it opens you up to being able to wear them with a whole bunch of stuff. These are from Anthropology. I know I've been having a whole Anthropology kick. I can't help it. The stuff in there is so unique and they, it's not Anthropology. It's literally a house of all designers. So when I say Anthropology, none of this stuff is made, from anthropo made by Anthropology. They house other designers. So it's a great easy way to find all these different designers in one location. So that's why I'm much of a fan for Anthropology. But I will pair this with this cream turtleneck put on a blazer that velvet one yes the the purplish crushed velvet one and be killing the game and that's three pieces one young lady says she loves turtlenecks but she's self-conscious about her larger bus okay i have a large bus too <clears throat> and i understand what you're saying so i would say stay with the darker colors on your turtlenecks Okay, don't go with horizontal stripes because those are going to make you look larger. Stay away from the bright creams, the whites. Go with the darks. Go with the solid colors. You can even do like a pink as long as it's not a white. White is just like highlighting in your makeup. Sometimes we have to put things into what we can, we can you know, absorb mentally. Think about when you highlight with makeup, you put white where you want it to stand out. You put dark where you want it to recede. So if you want your chest to look smaller, you wear something that's darker or... Somebody said accessories. Yes, you can accessorize. Um, necklaces, I find hard being busty because they either start to fall off to one side, especially the oversized necklaces, unless it's one that sits right on my chest, and that looks nice. So those could work. Um, I'm not a huge accessory person, so less is more for me because I am super curvy. I try to just keep the basics going for myself, and I try to just stick with darker colors, so navies, black. Things like that. Hopefully that helps. Um, sweaters. Okay, so we all have our sweaters. I think in the UK or over in Britain, you guys call them jumpers. This is cream, and it's beautiful. It's actually a light cream, and it has a tan speck in it. 
but it also has the cranes on it. Anything with appliques is killing the game right now. Appliques, you can add your own appliques. How hard would it be to go find a plain sweater and put your own appliques on it? You make it your own. This is taking something that's super basic. This is a basic cut sweater and being able to just rock it and just keep it very generic, but you put so much personality in it. This also allows you to bring in different color palettes. So this has that nice soft blue. It has a little bit of burgundy. I'm able to take these colors and pair it with something else that might just have the burgundy in it. So just being able, he's fine. They actually it's like him. Oh, DJ, it's time for bed. Come on up, bring my, bring daddy's case. Bring bring the iPad. We'll read stories and stuff. Kiss. Tell mm -hmm. the people bye bye. Tell everybody out there bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Good night, G. Good night. <laughs> what you feeding? <laughs> All right, guys, so here's another great one, a very basic sweater. This has more of a herringbone stitch to it. It's also got the eyelets down the center, but they brought out so much more texture with the furry mole hair on the sleeves. So being able to add a little bit more texture to something that's already filled with texture, texture on top of texture is it. People are always scared about mixing patterns. You can mix textures, it's all in the same color, and you still look more edgy and fashionable. Like this. <laughs> this is pretty daring. These are little fur puffs. And I know everybody wouldn't wear something like this, but I have plenty of basic sweaters. So being able to add something like this, this is great for date night. There's nothing on the back, so it's still super comfortable. You can gather the sleeves. You can pair it with the A-line skirt. You can just do so much with something like this. And it's so fashionable. Super simple. I got this from a boutique online called, uh, the designer is Nicole, well, the woman who sells the stuff is Nicole Linnell. I think some of you guys might follow her on Instagram, but she also has a boutique and her stuff sells out ridiculously fast. Like I said, I will be linking everything to all the pieces. So this will be labeled the sweater with the puff balls, okay? Um, and shapes. I think that people go and they get afraid of shapes. I'm busty, I'm short, I don't have a very long torso, but you will look at this and think, oh, it makes her look boxy or her bust is going to look wrong. It actually looks amazing. And when I pull up the sleeves like I do with this, it turns into a bell sleeve. This is a sweatshirt, you guys. It's an inside out sweatshirt. Now I bet you're sitting at home like, why didn't I come up with that? I know. I, when I bought it, I was mad because I was like, why didn't I come up with that? Shorter. Yes, thank you. Shorter sweaters. This is from Urban Outfitters. This is from Free People. I'm sorry I didn't tell y'all where it's from. Aw, uh, G says goodnight, guys. This is from Free People. They also have it in burgundy, and they had it in this heather gray. And it's actually like the inside of a heather gray. Literally, it's inside out. They took the same sweater material and they put it inside out. I love it, but it's, in, it's, it's different to the point that I had an older woman stop me at Joanne's and she was like, that is so different, and I would never wear that. And it's not about what you wouldn't wear. You don't know what you will wear. It's just about testing it. And once you get that first compliment, it's over. As soon as you get somebody who's like, oh, that is so neat, or that is so different, or you look amazing, it's over. Your wardrobe and your style is just going to start to shoot because your confidence shoots forward with those compliments. So we went through graphic tees. <clears throat> I wish I had some music that was like, oh. These are my favorites. These are my favorites. They're joggers. Can y'all get into this? They are navy and they have burnout. That is velvet, guys. So there's, it looks like it's, me, it's missing sequins. It's not. It's literally missing, like, so it's the velvet shining through and they are blue. Gorgeous piece, okay? You have the, the tight, they could be tighter but a tight bottom, so they are legitimate joggers. You can pair this with a sneaker, you can pair this with a flat. I'm gonna personally dress these up because the shape is unconventional, right? Unconventional. You would think that you would wear these as like casual, but they're so fancy, I'm gonna put a pump with them. So y'all stay tuned, not today, because I haven't put the outfit all the way together yet, but stay tuned on my Instagram, I'm sure I'll have some pictures coming up on there. But just taking pieces that are anthropology, yet again, anthropology. Um, but I have another pair of sequin pants that I got from H&M. 
okay? They had a holiday thing come out two years ago. To this day, I still get stopped and asked about these pants. They are beautifully constructed, zipper on the side, inside button, and they are tight at the ankle. Great shape. I typically wear these. It's funny, right? I want to wear the joggers with a pump. You'd be like, put these with a pump. I wear these with combat boots. Yes, I dress them down. Make them put on a tee. It could be a, a tee, a cardigan. I wouldn't match. I wouldn't go this far. Like, it's, that's too much, right? You could do it. Maybe if it's, it's the perfect event for it. But to me, that's too much, right? So I would pair. I dress down the top and I dress down the bottom. Making sure that I allow myself to have a little bit of pizzazz. It's almost like the rule of... If your arms and your chest is out, then you want to wear long pants. You know, you don't want to overdo it. So if I'm going to do a sequin pants, I definitely don't want to do a whole sequin top. If it's a one-piece jumpsuit, that's different. Oh, I'm sorry y'all got a one-piece jumpsuit. Y'all would die for it. Girl, rock that with some super... Yes, I rocked it with Chucks at Fashion Week this past year. While I was prepping here, I rocked it with white Chucks. Dirty, dingy, muddy looking white cloth chucks. Actually, they were leather, but they were the ones I used to wear in the salon. So they had all kinds of color stains and everything on them. They're my favorites. Yes, I am a big, big fan of that. So we have made it through clothes. We are, last piece is leathers. So you got your faux leathers. Don't be afraid of them. And pants, this is a dress I got last season from Zara. The back is a, is a stretch. Stretch material, so it's going to give you, compliment you if you have a rump. It's not going to constrict you. Sometimes leather, if it's not cut right and sewn together, it can be a little constricting. But this is a very flattering dress. It's a great fall, winter color. You can do great with some tights, over-the-knee boots. You can even do a low boot. I personally rock them with <clears throat> these boots. You guys have seen them. Where do y'all think these boots are from? I bet y'all think they're expensive, right? They're not. They're from Fashion Nova. Everything from Fashion Nova is not body okay you can get some cute stuff from fashion nova my girl was like you got those from fashion nova yes fashion nova comes through okay they have some cute pieces it's a total clear heel oh thank you thanks for ch chiming in um so you can get some great stuff and last but not least well i got accessories too but i was able to go out today and pick up two pieces from tracy ellis ross collection Okay, I got this velour bodycon, which I cannot wait to style. You can do so much with this because it's a bodycon. You want to match it with a blazer, a long um, cardigan. So much you can do with this, right? Right. I haven't tried them on yet. I don't even know how it's going to fit. But as soon as the door open, I grab me some. How cute would that be for a winter party at work? Cute. And then you leave work, take off that cardigan, and go turn up somewhere. I know. It's all about versatility, especially if you live far from your house. Ain't nobody got time for going home. So, I got two of these. I love body cons, especially in the summer. So, it was great to have some longer ones. Long sleeve. Do so much with them. Even if you decide to just wear this as a skirt and you pair something over the top. How cute would that be? You can take something like a, a dark denim shirt and you can tie this up over the top of this. And just... You see, my mind is going. I just bought this stuff, so I haven't even started styling it yet. But those are just some simple ideas that you can do with something that's simply cut. If you have a midsection you want to hide, tying that shirt up around it, wearing it, will hide it. It's just so many things you can do if you know what your strong parts are for your body. So it's not hard for you to go ahead and think about that and style around what are your weaknesses while you work on them, right? Body kinds. Do you have a monthly shopping budget? I do. Somebody asked? Mm -hmm. I have a week, I have a monthly allowance. It's a lot, <laughs> but I, um, I'm, I'm, I style myself for the shows that I host with HGTV. I do a lot, and I have those things built into my contract. So my shopping budget is a lot, and here recently I have found myself buying lower-end clothes and higher-end statement pieces, little pieces here and there. I'm not necessarily blowing my budget on all high-end clothes or anything like that. Um, these dresses were $25. So it's not like I'm buying super expensive stuff all the time. I still shop on sale. Everything I'm showing you guys is not to be like, you have to shop there. I really don't want to even share where I'm buying it. It's just the mere fact of inspiration. But yes, I do have a monthly budget. Sometimes I go over it. Sorry, husband. But... <laughs> 
I do try to stay within it. And I'm actually getting ready to try to lower it for next year. So, y'all pray for me. You are totally awesome. You help keep this 52. Aw, thank you. Thank you, guys. Who wants to talk shoes? Because I think a lot of people... She works hard. Yes, I work very hard for the money. So, I do have a budget. But um, I also have people that shop for me and help me find stuff at a lower cost. And that's why I'm starting to use more of like a vintage approach on things. And, you know, do things like that. So some of my favorites, metallics, you can never go wrong. This is definitely an Oxford. This is more of a wingtip style. Can you go over the lip again? Oh, you? yeah, 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 yeah. All right, guys, where is it at? It is Lime Crime. Oh, thank you, Ziggy. It is Lime Crime, and it is a liquid matte lipstick, and it is in Saddle. As you can see, it almost looks like a terracotta. It almost looks like, um, yeah, like a brick color. But it's per like literally, you guys, my lips are not dry or anything. And I've had this on since 10 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock this morning, because I ran out to get that stuff from JCPenney's, and I have not reapplied it. I did reapply the middle from lunch, but I haven't eaten dinner or anything. I even took a nap. Don't judge me. Don't sleep in y'all makeup, y'all. <laughs> a girl was tired. Um, it's Saddle, Lime Crime. I will link everything once this is done. Yes, so the Grace Jones top is from Shopaholic. She is a stylist, and she's on Instagram. I will link all of her stuff down below. I got this one, and I got a Diana Ross one. Right. We need our people. They're iconic, right? Dope. All right, let's get into the shoes. So... I shared with you guys that I got these from Fashion Nova. They are pointy. They are a faux suede. But honey, they are black. So you compare them with a legging, and it'll look seamless. You compare them with a skinny leg jean that's super black, it'll look seamless. I wear them all the time with all black, with a black turtleneck, looking like something straight out of Black Panther. But they are so amazing. How, how awesome is that? It literally looks like I'm not even walking on a hill. I got these from Fashion Nova. Fashion Nova. Back to these. I'm sorry, I, I got distracted with the lippy. These are from Zara. I don't know. I don't know if these are going to, um, if these are going to still be available. But you can also check ASOS. Any type of metallic shoe. Let me get down here. Any type of metallic shoe is going to be a godsend. I promise you, you can make or break an outfit with the metallic, not even break it. You could totally change it, make it super dope. It makes it look like you had a stylist in your closet putting it together. This outfit is literally a sweatshirt, a pair of jeans, metallic shoes, and a fanny pack, and a baseball cap, y'all. This is a dad cap that cost me like $5. It's just literally putting it together and being unafraid. Everything doesn't have to match. It could just be in the same color family. I pulled the inspiration from her leopard in her face and the red mark over her cigarette. Brought in my burgundy. The sweatshirt itself is cream. The, the florals on this are got a little bit of cream in it. It ties in the back with a bow. So it's an even a cuter little sassy accent. And then I threw the metallic shoe on with it. I could have easily paired this with a pair of sneakers, but I took it to a whole nother level, adding in a platform flat. Still super comfortable, and it works. I want to go through. Are they both from Zara? No, Zara, ASOS. Okay? These. Super cute. I know a lot of y'all work corporate jobs. These are pony hair. Dope. I can't even stress to you how often I go and grab these and throw them on with something. I could have worn with what I had on today, even with all these patterns, and it would have worked. It would have worked because they're a neutral. They play as a neutral. Dope. I just didn't want this style shoe today because it's um more of a slipper. No. What are these? That's a, that's a slipper, a loafer. A loafer. That's the word I'm looking for. More of a loafer, and I wanted something that tied up. These. Now, I used to love my combat boots from Steve Madden, but I upgraded to these. They were the same cost, actually, but these are from Zara. I like these because they have a heel on them. I love the grips on the bottom. They're very utilitarian. I love the double buckles on them. 
Thank you for taking the time to do this for us. Oh, you guys are so welcome. I think we get a little caught up in always having to overproduce our, always be trying to sell something. I just want to share and talk with y'all. Like, I want your questions. I want y'all to ask me questions. You can email me. Hey, I have these pieces. What do you think about this? I can give you feedback. Not all the time. It might be a slight <laughs> delay. The girl be busy, but... I will do my best to try to answer you guys back if I don't pop up on another live and answer questions on that, okay? So, black military boots, Zara. Telling you. Tell and me. where are the loafers from? The loafers are from Madewell. But they have these everywhere. DSW. You can find these everywhere. I got these on sale, by the way. I have teeny tiny feet, and your girl be getting the hook up. <laughs> I, got, I got miniature toes. These, over the knees... They lace up so you can adjust how they're gonna fit. I want the Louis girl. You and me both, but ain't nobody got That's my, like, I'm not doing that. No, no, I'm not gonna buy the Louis Vuitton military boot. I will look at yours and be like, them bitches is fly. <laughs> but I personally am not going to do that. I'm gonna rock these Zara ones and <laughs> we can be together and I'll be like, her boots is fly as a mug and I'm gonna rock these. But honey, I, my pocketbook says no, <laughs> no. These, $30 and you can adjust, you can adjust the tie on them, okay guys? So that means if you have thicker thighs, if you wanna wear them slouchy, if you wanna turn these into the uh, Givenchy, or the G, what is it, Givenchy? Yeah, that's how you pronounce it. The, the glitter boots that are 10 grand, <laughs> You can use these. These cost $30. You can go get you some of that metallic material, get the hot glue out, and girl, you'd be so hot. 30 bucks. I got these from Wet n Wild. Not Wet n Wild. Yes, Wet n Wild. They are no longer in business, but it does not mean you cannot find something like this at any of those other little, like, Charlotte, Charlotte Russe, Rainbow. We be. Everything at these shops, you don't have to buy all the stuff that. The girls that don't be looking right be wearing from those shops. You could go in there and get the cute stuff and look like you paid millions of dollars for it, okay? I'm... Are y'all with me? DSW. Oh, I love DSW. Mm -hmm. And if you're looking for some funky tights, they got all the tights. Designer, undesigner, all of them. Rainbow words. See? <laughs> Tell them. They don't want to know. Then they be like, where you get that from? They don't want to go in there. <clears throat> How about Nordstrom racks? These are Jeffrey Campbell's. Do you think I was going to spend Jeffrey Campbell's money? Mm -mm. It's a wood sole. Let me, let me tone down this light. Okay, I don't know if y'all can see. Oh, wood sole, white stack, platform Oxford, Nordstrom rack, my favorite shoe. Flat, comfortable, I'm short, make me look taller, make my pants fit. I ain't got to go get it tailored. Nordstrom Rack. Jeffrey Campbell. You can go find him and buy him full price. I'm not. Okay? So, I'm done talking. I'm going to get off my knees. And I'm going to answer all y'all questions now. Anybody got any questions? Yes, Nordstrom Rack, honey. Always. Because what happens is sometimes stuff be too funky, right? But when you see that price tag on something that you're not sure about in a high-end store, you're going to walk past it. You're going to walk past it. You're going to be like, mm, I don't know if that's going to even work with my style for that price. But then you get to Nordstrom Rack and you be like, oh, $30? I can do that. Even if they don't work, even if I wear them once or twice, I can do that. And that's, it's really about making it work for you. Thank you. I just, y'all going to get a tour of my new studio soon. Yeah, girl. This used to be my dining room, FYI. <laughs> We're standing in what used to be my dining room. My husband allowed me to turn it into my studio. So I wanted something colorful and bohemian chic and something that didn't match, kind of like who I am. And uh, it all came together. I'm really happy with it. Thanks, guys. This is my first live. So if y'all really like these, let me know and I will keep doing them. Um, but just let me know. Oh, thank you. <laughs> that, yes, Nordstrom Rex. Will you save this live? Of course I will save this live. 
prefer refer to printers for outfits out there. Of course, I'll get pieces and I'll Google because what it does is I'm I it doesn't mean I want to duplicate exactly what I see people wearing, but what it does is it allow me to say I didn't even think about pairing a button down with some joggers, but that's cute. And I got that piece in my closet. I can make that work. So yes, you pull inspiration from everywhere. Um, I also feel that it's important not to limit yourself. Sometimes we think because of our body shape or our complexions or what our hair looks like that day. You know, I'm notorious. Yesterday I had inches down in my bottom. Today I got my little bob on. <laughs> a good wig this is a royal prerogative wig by the way it'll be out next year i'm just testing it out for y'all before i put it on my on my little website you know what i'm saying but, but look it's got the uh yeah it's cute i'll do a video all about the wigs later but being able to accessorize and just have fun and just realize it's a look it's a look we do this we are public with our lives i'm on here expressing to you how i got to this point but I, I wasn't always here. I was that girl who had a nine to five and went to corporate and my closet was filled with Nine West and Express pants and there's nothing wrong with that. It's still stuff that I'm still pulling out. Hold on, Christy, come say hi to the people. Hold on, I'm gonna show y'all. Let me show y'all something real quick. I didn't prepare to get on video. You know, my hair is not even done, but hi. <laughs> she, she just drove all the way here, FYI, and she looks that beautiful. <laughs> my friend's pretty okay so this piece is from express is it not giving you rhythm nation vibes look at that military you see that military detailing hey girl hey hey they saying hey girl hey. hey so it's giving you military detailing right guess what i'm gonna do i'm gonna change the buttons out mm -hmm. i just increased the value of this jacket by simply changing out these little ugly buttons i'm not getting rid of this this is from express don't get rid of stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. What did she just say? She don't know how to do what with her pieces? She don't know how to mix and match. But you oh. gotta recreate your pieces. That's okay, cool. so I was guilty of this. My closet was inundated with so many clothes. And I would only wear this with one other piece. I never was adventurous. I never would push it. And because that one look would look so good, I would get trapped in that one look, right? So what I did was a great purge. I purged over 15 large grocery, like trash bags, large like yard bags, full of stuff. If I hadn't worn it in five years, it had to go unless I knew that it would come back, you know, or, the, or I just couldn't part with it. What it did is it made me, one, stop leaning on my sweats. I work from home a lot. So I found myself just falling into the same traps and wearing the same clothes over and over and over again. The same look. Over. I would look back at pictures and be like, I wore that outfit last year. I'm wearing it again this year. Take one piece and just do a slight change with it. If you wore a blouse with a pair of slacks, take that blouse and put it with a pair of ripped up jeans and put a ripped up sweater over so you could just see some little pieces in it. You just totally upgraded your whole wardrobe with stuff you already have. You can distress clothes you already have. I have a denim jacket. I saw this girl on Instagram. She was such an inspiration. She had a denim jacket. She turned into a shirt. She had it bleached up, holed up. It was too cute. Why did I do it? My waist, it didn't fit my waist and it didn't complement my figure. I'm going to probably have to take it up a little shorter because I'm short. But just... I ain't lose nothing. I ain't even spend any money going to get the jacket. It was in my closet, along with four other denim jackets that I had collected over time. We do that. As women, we, we find what we're comfortable with, and we buy it in every color. Maria, do you have any advice for a young lady who's plus size, and she tends to stay in the safe zone, but she wants to explore different things with her wardrobe? Yes. I have amazing advice for you. If you're plus size, I want you to think about what are your strongest attributes. If you have beautiful calves, then I want you to wear dresses that are a little bit shorter to accentuate that. If you are bigger in the stomach, you carry your weight in your stomach area. I want you to think about getting stuff that's going to A-line you. So it might be 23, or not 23, but whatever your waistline is, but then it's going to flare out. What that does is it creates an illusion of a snatched waist. Okay, that's a trick I use because I don't have hips. So I'm, I'm always wearing stuff that's going to create the illusion. I'm, I'm pretty boxy. You didn't see much curve there. 
I'm pretty, like, not boxy, because I'm curvy this way, but I'm straight, Whoa. and I have shoulders. Well, but you, uh, boil water for tea? Um, yes. Thank you. <laughs> always think about the traditional June cleavers. Think about what women wore back in the day, because those things, act, they accentuated any shape. A-line is a classic cut. It works for all body types. If you're an apple shape, if you are a pear shape, if you're an hourglass, it complements all of those things. Hold on, I saw some stuff come across. <laughs> okay. Yes, I, I'm telling you, I fell into that rut of wearing the, literally the same outfit. It was like, okay, I bought this piece, I took the time to style that piece, and then I never took the time to see what else it could be flat with. A piece is a piece. This sweatshirt could be worn with so many different things. I could put on, um, if I had a full black bodycon, I could wear it over that. It's just about layering and being expressive. And the best time to do that is on the weekends. Okay, so you got your pieces. Don't stress out. I think, I think a lot of people don't even know where to start on how to even get creative in their style and finding their style. First and foremost, I'm a mama. Second, I gotta be comfortable. I'm not trying to wear anything that is not gonna have me comfortable. I'm not trying to do it. As women, we get so comfortable with wearing black because it swims us. How do we venture out from colors? This is a, this is a tricky one, especially like even with makeup. I would challenge you, if you are a woman who wears black, to start wearing colorful lipsticks. Not blue, not green. You ain't gotta get you ain't gotta get crazy, but maybe try a red. And if you're comfortable with wearing a red lipstick, throw in a red pump. And if you're comfortable with wearing a red pump, take away the black pants and throw in a red slack. If you're comfortable with wearing red slacks, you could throw back on the black slacks and put on a red top. You are now starting to incorporate more colors into you. Another thing that is really helpful for colors is yes, please not. I'm sorry. You can wear blue. Just don't wear it to work. Okay. All right. Um, finding your undertones. The reason y'all like this is because these are my colors. They work for me. I know my colors. I know what works for me. And yes, I can do all colors, but I can wear yellows, but they're not the strongest color for me because my undertones are yellow. So it almost can make me look sickly unless it's a certain hue of yellow. So being able to know your undertones, know what just look good on you. I, you can't tell me nothing in orange. Can't tell me nothing. I know I look good. I don't even care what the shirt, what it's cut like. That's my color. I look great in oranges. I look great in reds. Knowing those things will allow you to be more adventurous. And you'll start to see slots in your closet. My closet's color coordinated. It's, and then it goes into like long sleeves, short sleeves, stuff like that. But being able to see your colors in your closet and understand, yep, those are my colors. Yep, that works. You need a makeover show. <laughs> I would love that because I could totally do hair, makeup, and a wardrobe for any person and totally make them over. I might do that. I might bring that to YouTube. Would you guys like to see that? Would y'all like to see me do a makeover? We can do a little history about the person, find out why they in a rut. I've actually had, like, I used to do mom makeovers at my salon. I had partnered up with a woman who did mom makeovers, and I would give them a headshot for LinkedIn and things like that so that they can go back out and feel amazing about themselves because they dedicated so much of their lives thus far to their children, their jobs. So doing something that's good for them. Oh, good. I'm going to do a call out, and we're going to start that. I'm going to do that. They love that idea. Yeah. Well, I did the transformation video, and you guys were like, you need to do this all the time. It's just that, you know... Oh, thanks, guys. Uh, any other questions while I'm on here? I feel like I've just been jabbering. I do do it all. I literally, like, seriously. I, I do it all. But it has to be in a certain rhythm. You can't ask me to go over. Well, I can't say that because I fixed the car before. <laughs> if a human can do it, I can do it. That's what I tell myself. That would be awesome. You should do a meet and greet in Maryland sometime. Oh, I was just in D.C. My hat, so it's a guy here who owned a boutique called Bula Boutique, and he was closing it down because of his lease. His lease, he got bought out of his space. And he had these hats for like five bucks. So 
But I can find them for you and I'll link them down below. I love the live. It was a great way to connect with us. Yes, I. this is my first time doing it. I'm always just teaching and you guys never see my personality for real. So I can use you. Where you live at, Nerva? Is it is it near near Nerva? Nerva? Where do you where y'all live? I can come to DC. I don't live in DC. I live in Knoxville, Tennessee. Anybody live around this area? The DMV loves you too. The DMV, all of my East Coast people, y'all are like the best. I can walk anywhere and I'll be like, they'd be like, Maria, I'll be like, that's me. Hi. And if you see me, don't be afraid to speak because I do travel a lot. I'm working next year to be able to do more small meetups and things like that. Oh, thank you, Florida. Florida. STL! Yes, <laughs> That's my hometown. <laughs> um, oh, thanks, guys. Hey, Boston. Birmingham. Murfreesboro. That's my girl. <laughs> Birmingham. Be him. Hey, Callie. I know. I, Y'all. I didn't know Callie people watched me. That's so mm -hmm. awesome. Hey, Illinois. Denver. Denver. Are you sober right now? <laughs> In Denver. Do y'all get that a lot in Denver where everybody just assume y'all <laughs> cheaping it up all the time? <laughs> hey, Florida. Hey, guys. This has literally been so awesome. You have to do a world tour. I have not. Um, I've been apprehensive because I just, I just didn't know. <laughs> y'all really wanted anything else but to learn stuff from me. Um, so it's really nice to be able to connect with you guys and to be able to talk to you. So... I will be probably doing an in-house lookbook because it's getting cold, but I'll probably be bringing in some more fashion. My next video that I'll do will probably be a hair video because I want to do <clears throat> some protective styles for the winter with your real, real hair. Thank you guys so much. Ha! Trinidad. Wow. Hey. I said I was going to have some music playing, but you know, YouTube be playing with licensing and I might have got put down so or shut down. <laughs> so I didn't, I was like, let me just go ahead and not have no music. Hey, Stanford. I be in Stanford. You wouldn't believe it, but I actually have been to Stanford. Delaware. Turn up, Maria. Y'all, people who know me and follow me on Instagram, especially my Instagram stories, I always have time for a good turn up. Always. I'm never too busy for that. You play the music. I'm gonna turn up. Hey, will you bust out dance in a heart? I will. I will. Car jams for sure. Yes, ma'am. That is me. And I listen to the most ratchet thug. <laughs> um, whatever me. I, that's me. I like yoga and uh, what is it? ratchet music? I like what's the saying? I like yoga and whatever. Is Sky from Virginia High Sky? Thank you. I'm human. Like I be trying to tell people, like y'all go through emotions just like y'all do. Starting YouTube, nail biting. I was terrified because people are mean on the internet, and I just I wasn't built for it then. I'm built for it tough now, for it strong. My pump does not. My heart does not pump Kool Aid. Okay, I'm very strong. So what y'all got for me? I'm joking. Be nice. G is in bed. He's asleep. Somebody asked trap me to music. Do a, um, yes, trap music. How to build a wardrobe. Yes, I can definitely do a video on how to build a wardrobe. Basics, starting with Target, H&M. You got a college budget? I can help you build a wardrobe. I'm telling you guys, thrifting is amazing. And tip to thrifting. Yes, mean people do suck. Tip to thrifting, go find the high-end neighborhoods. Little insight. You get all the nice stuff. Because most people like myself, I don't resell stuff. I just go and donate it. So, like, all those 15 bags with shoes, purses, clothes. My husband literally went and just took it to the donation center. Somebody cleaned up. Yes, facts. Hashtag facts. Go and check out those, those locations because they have all the stuff. How did your transition from 9 to 5 to being a full-time stylist creator? I can answer that. Okay, so I did undergrad. I got my degree in psychology and criminal justice. I did not go into the field that I really wanted to, which was like forensics, and I wanted to be a detective for the FBI. Um, but I didn't go into that. I went into business because it was just an easy transition from college and I needed money. So I went and worked. And at 30, on my second, third job, I got laid off. And I always, always... Yes, H&M is everything, especially for your kids. Do not forget about H&M for your kids. But back to my quick story. I got laid off 
throughout all of this, I always wanted to go to cosmetology school, but I, I grew up in a predominantly white environment and like my friends all had these goals of being lawyers and doctors. And I was like, yeah, I guess I can do that too. But I really wanted to do hair, but I didn't respect it enough to do it because I felt like it wasn't a respected career. So I'm being honest. I went ahead and just did what everybody else did. I was leaving. I just followed. That was what I did throughout my 20s. And then about 29, 30, I started getting the itch like, this is not for me. Corporate is not for me. I got laid off. So, you know, Obama was hooking us up on that unemployment. I was single. I didn't have kids. I collected unemployment and I went ahead and went to cosmetology school. I bartended on the side and I made it work for me. I left cosmetology school in nine months. I did everything I was supposed to do. I excelled. I went straight into booth rent. I never worked in consignment. I never worked for anybody. I went straight to working for myself and I started to build this amazing clientele. Fast forward two, months, two years later, I got engaged and my, we got married. My husband graduated from um, getting his MBA. He moved us to Knoxville, Tennessee and the rest is history. history. I never... Um, I never wanted to do hair in Knoxville. And truth be told, I'm really not in love with doing hair. I'm in love with the one-on-one -on -one relationships I had with my clients. So I love that I was so personal with them. I got to go to their to their child's birth, like um, baby showers and being involved in their weddings. And that was the part that I really enjoyed, his, my background being psychology. I really am just into relationship, people relationships. Um, so when he moved us here, I started blogging online journal it wasn't even anything constructed and finally people was like your hair on instagram they'd be like your hair your hair you should start a youtube what? i started youtube and the rest is history so that is my transition um i had a sugar daddy called my husband he took real good care of me while i figured it all out and started making a little bit of money doing this but <laughs> that's how it worked for me um any other questions <coughs> what can they expect the next live do you guys want me to do another one next week for hair? I actually want to do one for styling my hair, like on live, so you guys can see it with no editing or anything like that. Would you be interested in that? Yes, it's Grace Jones, honey. Can we get another taper cut video? <laughs> I'm trying to switch it up. I need another taper cut model. They want a daily live. <laughs> a daily? <laughs> Would y'all really tune in for that? Okay, thank you. Oh, thank you. I would love to see your dress. Tag me on Instagram. Lord, this sounds like my life. Yes. Any, yes, yes, yes. So next next Sunday, would you guys like me to just do a live on my hairstyling? Yes, 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 yes. Or flooding through. Yes. It's okay. So next Sunday, is 8 o'clock a good time for you guys? Have you ever considered being a mentor? This is mentoring. The one thing about mentoring is it comes in different shapes and sizes. I'm also thinking about starting a mastermind group on Facebook because I do get a ton of questions and it's only one of me. And I feel like as a community, there's some questions that someone else could possibly answer just as well as if I can answer them. So I'm working on some things behind the scene to bring out more of the help that people need. Um, it works great for everybody. Good. Yeah. So can I see you guys here next Sunday at 8 o'clock? Yay. 20s, about finding yourself. Honey, I did 10 years of counseling. <laughs> That's where you start. <laughs> I can only help you with some, with some key things, some high-level things, but to get down and bury and unbury and unroot up all that childhood hurt and understanding what's been going on in your life, I advise you to get counseling. It doesn't mean anything's wrong with you. I have nothing clinically wrong with me. I just had to figure out ways to not trigger certain behavior because of things that I had developed throughout my life. Hmm. Go on, get that counseling, girl. <laughs> Mental health is everything. 8 p.m. works. Yep. Thank you guys so much, so much for tuning in. I really enjoyed this. I will, I'm, I'm going to save this. I'm going to, I might have to write it in the comments. I don't know how lives work. I'll just say that. But I'm going to try to put as much information. Yes, yes. Go ahead and give me the, I love it and haven't experienced trying this, but I see others have. Okay. Let me go ahead and iron this out. If you did not know, I am Cantu's global stylist, which means I travel the world educating and doing their campaigns and things like that for the beauty brand in their product. So it's been a big controversy going on about Cantu having uh, rubbing alcohol in it. Now, the amount, first and foremost, the formula hasn't changed. It's always had that in there. The amount that's in there is 24, like 1 24th of a teaspoon. Okay, it's enough to allow the products to stay 
um, active in the in the container by the time you pull it out and rub it one time in your hands it's evaporated so it's nothing that's going to affect your hair the issue why people are having dryness with the product is because it's a repair cream if your hair does not need to be repaired that's not the product you need to be using Cantu has about five other can leave-in conditioners you can possibly be using yet yeah, it's not a preservative it's an activating ingredient to make sure that the, um, I don't want to say combine, I'm not a chemist, so I know that it's in there to help the ingredients to work the way they're supposed to, but the amount of it is not going to affect your hair to make it dry. The reason why I can't use it, it does not work for my hair. I have not used it. If you see videos where I've used it, I can only use it maybe like first of winter and after winter. It's not something... Um, <laughs> it's not something that I have to use all the time. It could be something that could be used as a deep treatment. It could be something that could be used every once in a while. It's not something that I use every day or every time I shampoo. I really love the mist leave-in conditioner or I love the natural cream leave-in conditioner. I have really fine hair, so I don't need anything super heavy. So um, we can talk about that in the next week's video because... It's going to be related strictly to hair, so or whatever y'all ask me. But um, oh, thanks, girl. We ain't got time to be lying. Like I can't keep up with the lies, so I have to just be honest because I can keep up with my honesty, right? Um, but yes, everything in Cantu I can't use. I tell people that all the time. They be like, "Oh, Cantu didn't work for me." I'm like, "What did you use?" And they be like, "Oh, I used the coconut curl cream and the leave-in repair cream. That didn't work for me either." But guess what does work for me? And it's the only styling and product I use in my hair. And my hair be fly. You'll see next week. <laughs> All right, guys. This has been amazing. Hopefully, I answered your questions. And I will see about saving this and answering the rest of your questions. I'll do my best to go through the rack and put everything on there. And then to just give some key tips that I wrote in there. Yes, I was like, Maria's hair looks amazing, so that can't be true. Oh, it's, it's, it can. It can dry your hair out. That could be true. Every product isn't for everybody. Let's be honest. Like, everybody can't wear the sweatshirt. Like, it just, it, everything ain't for everybody. Oh, love you guys, too. See you guys next week. Love you guys, and I'm out. Bye. Are you sure you want to stop this friend?